everyone. Thank you for joining me again today. Um, thank you for joining my channel. Hope you hit that subscribe, like button. My name is Christy and you're watching The Hair Junkie. Um, so today I have Doll Baby Glee. This is a doll baby wig from Tia Maria Wigs. I bought this from her one of her live sales. So this is fun. This is like a two-toned, um, I'd say it's kind of like a mint green. Um, it is a lace front, lace part. It is heat safe up to 320 degrees. So that's the inside of the cap. She has two combs on the side, one comb in the back, no extended nape. Um, she does have like this little bump up. I'm not quite sure what you call that. I haven't had a whole lot of experience with that in wigs, but it's just kind of like this. I don't know. I'll have to show you once I, <laughs> once I put her on, maybe then it will make more sense. Um, but we've got the hair grip. Get that on here. All right. I have not put her on yet, so it's going to be a surprise for everybody. Hair flip. Woo. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is like. There's like a a a bump. Bump. bump? I don't. Know what you would call that but that is for the style um she doesn't really have pronounced ear tabs let's see i like how it's not completely split in half um that's just me though maybe that's because it feels like it's kind of breaking up but I actually I actually really like I like whatever is in there I like I like whatever they put in there to do the thing that it's doing um, This is super soft. The parting. There's a couple things I'm thinking. I could either go in there and do a little bit of rooting with the Batiste. This is a dry shampoo for dark hair. And this looks, or looks, it does look amazing. This works amazing if you need to root a wig that's maybe <laughs> maybe a little bit lighter than what you want. Should we? All right, let's just do it. What I usually do is I just kind of go in with my fingers. I just kind of rub it. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. In this will end up even though it's a dry shampoo this will end up being like a semi permanent the further away you are of course the lighter it's gonna be but you know what it kind of I 
I like it better with the root, I'm not going to lie. And you could, yeah, that's just going to blend in with my shaved sides because my hair is naturally really dark. But you could actually just, you know, go through, depending on how much do you want it all the way through. Do you want to lift up layers? Um, which you can totally do that too. Um, I'll just do a little. I say a little. That way there. You know, wind blows. You flip your head. Flip your head. Flip. <laughs> I don't think anybody's flipping their head, but you flip your hair. Um, you know, and you just kind of comb it through. So when you first spray it, it looks a little dark. And, you know, you kind of rub it with your fingers and it, you let it dry just a little bit. All right, let's do, this side here. I'm gonna have to wash my hair and my my hair grip after this, because um, I'm sure it's probably with the wefts. I'm sure it's kind of gone through <laughs> a little bit. I probably have stripes down under, but um, yeah. Good choice. I'm glad you guys agreed with me to go ahead and do this rooting. Because I almost didn't listen to you. You're trying to convince me. I'm thinking somebody really needs to come take this can of the tea spray for me because I am going wild. But I do love it. And um you can always go ahead and just do like really light and then go back in once you kind of comb and style it and figure out you know does it need more um like i said it's kind of a semi-permanent because i have a couple of wigs that i've actually there's that there's that bump see like I have a couple wigs that I've done this to, um, and, you know, I wash it thinking, oh, it's, it's temporary, it's going to wash right out, no, it's still, it still kind of stayed in there a little after I washed it, so, um, that looks good I'm glad I went in there I just did that one layer up where that little I don't know I call it a bump up I, I don't know I'm sure it's got a name to it um, if anybody knows what this thing right here is called that they they put in there to give it that volume um, please let me know in the comments all right so we're just gonna do another little layer here is so soft it feels so real and natural I mean <laughs> I've got that all over the front of my head um, but anyway let me show you the back and sides of this beautiful 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 girl I got on right now and that's the back and obviously I'm doing that rooting on camera 
so I can't see the back, but when I take it off, it will When I take it off, I'll look, and if it needs a little bit of um, powder, I will go ahead and put the, not powder, dry shampoo, sorry. All right, let me know what you guys think. If you like seeing these little tutorials of how to, um, let me know. I'm happy to help. This is what I love to do. Um, so thank you for being here. Have a great day. Oh, actually, I will go ahead and take this wig off. That way there you can see what it does if you leave it on while you're doing the dry shampoo. I actually feel like that's a really good, um, that's a really good blend in the back. Good job, Christy. Good job. So, um, this is what you'll get if you do it while it's on your head. Um, and then if you're wearing any sort of, you know, hair grip, wig grip, any type of cap, just keep in mind, it'll get on there. Um, a little tip or trick that I usually do is take my wig stand with the head on it. I put the hair on whatever wig I'm going to root. Um, before I put the hair on, I go ahead and wrap that with saran wrap. That way there, um, whatever mess is left, it's not staining anything. It's not ruining anything. Um, you just take the saran wrap off, throw it away. Super easy. All right. Till next time.